Hey guys and friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Debsy and place to be. It's Debsy. That's me, Debsy. Loop. It is Sunday, so you know what that is. Super Sunday pop culture wrap up. And we got a big week this week. I'm going to save the best for last what everybody has been thinking of and obsessed with, but before we do that, there have been some other things going on in the world of pop culture news go through this quickly. Um, Bill Murray is in a little bit of trouble here. Production on his latest film has been suspended. That's um, Being Mortal. It's also starring Aziz Ansari and Seth Rogen. It's been shut down and suspended because Bill Murray had some complaints about his on-set behavior. I guess he had told a joke that he thought was funny really wasn't funny to anybody else. So that's been halted. Will Smith, he traveled to India to do yoga and meditate. So there's that. I guess that's gonna help when you slap somebody. So, I mean, I can think of another way to handle that problematic situation, but hey, who am I to talk? Um, Angeline Jolie. She went over to the Ukraine and visited a boarding school and a hospital, so good for you. Olivia Wilde was served with custody papers this week by her ex, Jason Sudeikis. Um, that happens often, but doesn't happen too often whenever you are presenting your directorial debut. Uh, I guess it's her, her directorial debut. She had directed Harry Styles, her current love, Harry Styles in Darling. Anyways, I'm gonna put the name of it here. Something with Darling. Anyway, she was on this, she was on stage at one of these comms and she was presenting it. She was then presented with uh, an envelope by a woman and she opened it up, I guess, thinking that it was a script and it was not, she was served. It was kind of a shitty thing but Jason Sudeikis had said he had no idea that it was going to be served to her in that manner at that time. He would never want that to happen. And he's putting it back. It's, it's on the, the serving company, who, this company who served to her. They decided to do it then. Kind of shitty. Um, and lastly, nope, not lastly. I just heard this today also. After 40 years, Dan Aykroyd and his wife Donna Dixon have decided to divorce sad um and in even sadder news last night we found out that naomi judd one half of the groundbreaking country duo the judds mother and daughter um had passed away she passed away she was 76 and um ashley judd had put out a statement saying that they lost their mother due to mental illness which is very sad. She was an outspoken, um, she was an outspoken advocate for destigmatizing, um, destigmatizing behavioral health issues and destigmatizing depression. Um, so sad, very, very sad news. And they are set to be inducted into the Country Hall of Fame tonight. And they were planning on um, touring again. So very, very sad news. My, my prayer, my, my prayers and my thoughts, my love go out to, um, when go out to Winona and Ashley Judd and all of their fans and all of their family, because it's just a, a, such a sad, um, such a sad turn of events. Um, so with that gone, what, with that done, um, let's move on to what we have all been paying a lot of attention to this week. Me, and Carissa, and Kristen, and Bunny Cakes. We've all been paying a lot of attention to the Johnny Depp versus Amber Turd. I cannot say it any other way. It's always gonna be Amber Turd. That's it. Um, it was the third week of his defamation trial against his ex-wife, ex-Satan wife. Um, anyways, there were a lot of things that I learned this week. I learned, number one, that um, the sun does shine in the Bahamas and that Johnny Depp, in fact, had um, doors on his bathroom. So that was brought to light by his um, 
by the manager of his, the woman who manages his island, I know, his, his island in the Bahamas, um, Charlie Roberts. I also found out that you can, in fact, hire, um, you can, in fact, obviously get lawyers off of Wish, because obviously that's where Amber Turd got hers from. Um, I, don't, I have no idea why this woman thinks that thinks that the person who manages the island is going to then ask the suit his joined up soon to be wife like if she's a skin condition. So there's that. We found out that um, Amber Turd's one of her attorneys is the queen of all Karens. Elaine is absolutely the queen of all Karens. Um, they there was a very fascinating clinical psychologist. Um, Sharon, Dr. Sharon Curry that they called, that um, came out and, you know, just basically had given a very fascinating um, talk on um, personality, so personality disorder and diff the two different types of it. Also, um, that oh, clinical psycho psychologist was my fighter for the day because after being completely pounded by questions about the muffins, she had come out and just said, enough with the muffins, listen. My husband had gone out, gotten the muffins, brought them to work, like most people, like if you work in an office and if somebody says, can you bring breakfast? Yeah, it's usually muffins or bagels or donuts or danishes. But she had to make this big thing about you bought the muffins, you told you told your husband, you were making Amber hurt. I don't know why anybody is going to be so enamored and like starstruck by Amber Turd. I mean, honestly, I, I can't even tell you, I can tell you one movie that she's been in. She was in Magic Mike 2, she was forgettable. So eventually, the, Dr. Curry just got tired of it and was like, listen, enough with these muffins. So obviously Dr. Curry's married to the muffin man. She found muffin man. Next day they had the best, the absolute best. I think there's drama with my neighbors. Anyways, we found the next day we had Alejandro Romero who was front desk receptionist at, um, worked front, front desk at Johnny Depp and Amber, Amber Turd's residence, the um, ECB, the Eastern Columbia building. And seriously, he was comedic gold. He told the story of how um, Amber had, was scared to death that somebody was breaking into their unit, turns out that it was the dog. The dog was trying to break it. So there's that. Um, he then said what everybody else who had who had testified was thinking probably that they're tired of this, they're done with it, and they want to go and they have to go to work. He then vaped <laughs> and was so tired of the questions that he drove away. Drove away. Didn't have a seatbelt on, that was the only terrible thing, but dro vaped, then drove away. It was the best. Also what came out of that was he realized he didn't see any marks on her, which was, which was something that happened the whole, has been happening the whole trial. No one has seen marks on her. Um, also that same day, there was uh, Christian Carino, who's an agent, who was an agent for both Depp and Turd, and at one point, Kristen had said to me, is he drinking a beer? And then I looked at it and I was like, is he drinking a beer? But it was not, it was it was probably some kind of bougie, like, I don't know, beverage. Anyways, um, and the interesting about this was, he actually said that in his estimation, the reason why Disney dropped Johnny Depp was because of these allegations, these allegations that Amber Turd had made. Um, also, it, interestingly enough, Amber Turd was the one who reached out to this agent um, to have him facilitate a meeting with Johnny Depp 
during the temporary restraining order that she had requested. If you are so scared to death of this man, why are you reaching out to ask him to meet with you? It doesn't make sense. Um, and it also came to light during his testimony that Depp had, uh, John Depp had found out um, that Disney fired him from Pirates two days after the op-ed had appeared in the Washington Post. The divorce, next day, the divorce attorney, no, at the end of that same day, the divorce attorney for Johnny Depp um, had testified. Didn't see that much of hers, um, but Amber Heard, interestingly enough, Amber Heard, Amber Turd's attorney, um, had admitted that Amber Turd um, had, had said that, that she had said that Amber had said that she is going to engage in a scorched earth earth tactic after Johnny um, Johnny Depp had, had decided to proceed with the divorce. Um, the next day, let me tell you, there was a big bombshell. Now this guy was, he might have been a little, a little, um, he wasn't as flashy, he wasn't as funny, but he was the general counsel for the ACLU, Terrence Do Doherty. And he dropped a bombshell because Amber Turd had, when she had divorced and she'd gotten the $7 million, she had said that she was going to donate half of it to the ACLU, half of it to Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Turns out she ended up giving, let's see, all totaled, the amount that was donated to the ACLU was 950000 950000 is far less than $3.5 million. Out of that, $1,000 came from Johnny Depp. $5,000 had come from somewhere. It come from like a donation of some sort. And then, and then $350,000 had come from somewhere. Now, Listen, I had written it down everywhere. I lost that piece of paper. But as it turns out, the $5,000 that was donated, it didn't come from her. It came from Elon Musk. So out of that $950,000, she donated $350,000, not $3.5 million. So there we go. So she lied. So she's a liar. Um, and also it came it had come out from him from the ACLU guy that um Amber Heard wanted wanted to actually direct more of this more of this this blame and more attention to Johnny Depp because she would she was thinking that if she does this then it's going to put her she, it's going to raise her star status. It's going to get her out there more. So, and she thought she could profit from that. Um, we also had, what else? We had John D. Depp's CPA, Edward White, found out from him that she had a huge wine allowance, a huge wine allowance. And also that when she, when she first started off with her, request money wise for the for the in the divorce proceedings started off at five million dollars at the end she was asking seven million dollars tax free as we know it ended up being seven million dollars not 14 million um then we had seen starling jenkins he was a personal chauffeur chauffeur um he talked a lot about um about, I guess, like, I once again, I didn't see a lot of him, but there was the discussion of a fight that, in which um, she, Amber Heard, turd, had thrown Johnny Depp's phone out the window. They're saying it was, it, it was just underneath their balcony, but I guess it wasn't. I guess somebody had picked it up and took it and so this guy had to go recover it in Skid Row. And so there was that. 
Um, also, he's the one who drove um, Amber, Amber Turd and her sister and her friends to Coachella. The day after supposedly, he supposedly, allegedly Johnny Depp hit her. If you're hit and you have all these bruises, how are you gonna go to Coachella? No, mm -mm, cause you're lying. Um, and then also was um, security guard, Malcolm Conley, hilarious, refreshing, a Scottish man, um, where has worked with Johnny Depp for well over 20 years. Um, he didn't he didn't see any any bruises or anything on Amber Turd, but did see, uh, I believe it was a bruise on Johnny Depp's bridge of his nose. Um, and then there was, and that was, that was when we had heard the um, questioning of didn't, wasn't Mr. Depp urinating outside. And he, and then it, it camera went to Johnny Depp and he's laughing. He says, and, and, um, this Malcolm Conley said, I believe me, I would remember if I saw Johnny Depp's eggplant. He didn't say eggplant, he said penis. So, wouldn't we all rem remember that? Um, there were also a few, there were, I think like three or four um, videotape depositions from LAPD um, officers who were called to the ECB building um, about this fight, none of them had seen, none of them had seen any bruises on her and they had all said that um, they didn't want to cooperate with, they didn't want to cooperate with her, with, with, you know, Amber Heard did not want to co cooperate with their questioning. So I learned from this whole thing, don't get, don't order your, um, don't order your lawyers from Wish because terrible. So that is what I learned this week um, from the Johnny joined up Amber Turd um, trial. So she's not winning this. This she's this what I had also learned is that she is in my opinion she's lying. Yeah. So that's it. That's my wrap up for the week. I hope everybody has a great week. Um, if nobody has, oh, and wait a minute, I think next week, oh, and we did also hear, I had heard on the internet that Elon Musk is not going to be testifying for Amber Turd. Smart. Now the question is, is, is James Franco? I doubt that he will. So that's what that is. Um, and apparently, I think she might, Amber Turd may be, may be um, testifying this coming week. And if she is, I don't know how much work I'm going to get done. I think it's kind of actually ignorant and rude that they ex that, that people expect us to work while this is on. So, there we go. Everybody have a great week. Um, I know I haven't told you this yet today. What's that? Oh, somebody needs to do their eyebrows, girl. Let's just do this side. Woo. Okay. So if nobody has told you yet today, I love you. You're loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, hope, positivity, and acceptance out there because we all need it. Everybody have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.